this is the final result of the tutorial but what we are actually gonna learn is this particles which we will create completely with geometry node then this cracks which we will create with the help of an add-ons and geometry node and all of this will done on our channel thing sci-fi delete cube and import your obj object i am using head human head you can use any obj object rename it if required make x location zero press one for front view and make z rotation 90 reduce its scale by pressing s key press ctrl a and apply all the transform this is important then press 7 for top view and add curve circle adjust in the x location so that the head will be in the center of the circle move the circle little bit upward in z location scale it by 4 go to the curve setting and make both resolution and render 64 now select the camera and go to the constraint setting and select follow path here make the location and rotation value 0 then go to constraint and in target select bezier circle select minus x then y then follow curve this will set your camera to the face reduce the camera focal length in camera setting now in offset if you increase the value you will see the camera is rotating around the face now go to geometry node then select the face and click new hide the camera and bezier circle if they are disturbing you click shift d and make a duplicate of face then remove the geometry node and hide it we will use it if required select the first face and search distribution point on face by pressing shift a then add instance on point and search icosphere and connect it with instance reduce its radius and increase the subdivision select poison disk on distribution point on faces then increase its maximum density to 5000 or 4000 reduce scale value to 0.6 now we will add a empty object this will used to control the particles move it in x location then select the faces and drag the empty to the geometry node now add a scale instance to control the cubes with the help of empty add a position node and connect it with scale then add vector mat math in between and connect object info location with it make one more duplicate of vector math by pressing shift d select divide on it and connect it with object info scale add separate xyz node in between and connect it with z select subtract in first vector math now when you move the empty you will see some effect select nodes at once which you want to arrange in same box then click ctrl j this will create a box around all these nodes and if you press f2 you can give some name to it then add color wrap and press plus sign to add one more point to it move the white portion to the middle play with the color wrap this will help in achieving effect which you can see here increase its value up to 2 
now when you move the empty you can see the middle portion having bigger sphere and the upper portion having a smaller sphere and the bottom part are disappearing now we will add more randomness to the effect for that first add translate instance then go towards group input and add normal we use normal of the face then add capture attribute and select vector in it connect normal to the value and attribute to translate instance now the face is creating some weird shape to control it add vector node vector math node in between and select scale in it also connect x separate xyz with scale because we only want to make effect in the z location then add map range in between and play with its two minimum and two maximum values now when you move the empty you can see the effect is forming now add float curve and play with the curve if you want to make more randomness to the effect you can see there are two lines are forming one is dark and one is light when you move the empty make a duplicate of vector math and connect it between position and vector math and select add on it then add moves grid texture and connect it with vector this will add more randomness to the effect which you can see when you move the empty we will also add wave texture then mix rgb and connect both the texture and play with the values of both the texture moose gray and wave texture now when you move the empty you can see some interesting textures are forming around the face particles we will add math node in between to make the texture more appropriate select multiply in math node and play with the value select all the node except group input and group output and press control g this will group all the nodes press the arrow key to come out from this group press f2 and rename it select the face and make one duplicate of it by pressing shift d rename it as cracks because we will use this for making crack hide the previous face then select the crack and remove geometry node from it then go to particle setting and add a particle system make frame start and frame end zero then come back to layout go to edit preferences add on and search cell fracture then check the box and close it before the next step save your project so that you cannot lose it in any case click f3 and search cell fracture then select it according to your particles number select source limit then click ok this will take some time after that the result will look like this before clicking anywhere as in view layer click m and create new collection then hide the new collection and cracks and unhide the first female head then go to geometry node make a duplicate of it 
and don't forget to click number 2 then press F2 and rename it connect it with group output click this button to open the group select this note and delete it because we are not going to use it drag the crack particles collection to the geometry node and select relative then check separate child and connect it with scale instance select the empty and move it in Z location to see whether the effect is working or not then again select the face and come inside the group remove the gray part in color wrap and move the white portion to the end reduce the value of white portion to 1 check at every step by by moving empty in the Z location by pressing ZZ whether the effect is looking good or not drag the cracks inside geometry node then add normal and transfer attribute connect object info and normal to it and connect it with scale play with map range to minimum value and mac to maximum value 0 also play with float curve node now come out from the group then add join geometry and connect both the group the particle system are looking something weird because i don't know why i reduce the z location of female head so make it zero all the problems are solved move the empty by pressing zz to see everything is correct or not here we can see both the particles and cracks are forming at the same time due to which we are not able to see both the effect correctly to make it correct go to crack group and with the help of shift key and mouse right button make it a single line then add math node select subtract and play with the value now see it is looking correct if you want to make changes play with the value of math node again come back to cracks group and connect moose gray to math then delete wave texture and mic rgb then come back to the layout and decide how you want your animation from bottom to top or top to bottom i am making top to bottom so move your empty to the top where the head is completely disappear then at frame 1 enter keyframe in z location then at frame 251 move the empty downside until both the effect get completed then enter keyframe unhide the camera because we will add animation to it also go to constraint and and at frame 1 enter keyframe on offset then go to frame 251 enter minus 200 in the offset and enter keyframe you can play with the offset also now it's time to add some material select the face and go to material setting press plus sign to add a material and give it a name emission click plus sign one more time to add one more mater material and give it a name crack select emission material and add emission to it and go to geometry node and open 
particles group then enter set material to it and select emission on it then come back and open cracks group and add set material to it and select cracks on it go to shading tab in emission select your color and strength select slot 3 and select your base color for cracks come back to layout we will add a aerial light to this scene give it a power of 75 select disk in shape then go to constraint and add follow path and select bezier circle in target select minus x y and follow curve now at frame 1 enter keyframe in offset then at frame 251 enter minus 200 and enter keyframe now this will rotate along with the camera to render it in ev go to scenes setup and select all the four options then in color management select high contrast in look then make the world completely black then make a render image to see everything is correct or not we have to uncheck the camera option of the face so that they do not come in render oh we have to uncheck the face head the first face if everything is looking correct in ev you can render it in ev you can increase the emission strength if you want you can also press f12 for render image if your system can allow then i will suggest to render it in cycles go to cycle select gpu in maximum sample viewport select 6 and in maximum sample render select 64 you can compare your ev render with cycles for that go to rendering select slot 2 we will render same frame for comparison then press f12 after render is completed you can compare by moving in slot 1 and slot 2 both ev and cycle result and according to your choice you can render your animation if you are interested in learning dr strange porter animation then check the right video